Hi everybody, my name is Thor, and in this tutorial I'm going to be teaching you how to make, uh, I guess you could call some of them precious metals, uh, uh, gold, silver, um, and texturing them in particular. Uh, texturing these is a big deal, um, especially if you're doing something like gold, uh, which is, you know, if you ever look at gold, even polished, you're going to notice, like, you know, indents, blemishes, uh, it, it, the only time you're ever going to have real gold that looks, you know, really shiny is going to be very low carat. Usually the kinds of things you, uh, would use in a ring, uh, like an engagement ring or, you know, uh, really, I mean, there's very few times that you ever run into an occurrence where you're going to have anything that is, uh, anything that's going to be, uh, very high carat that's not... Uh, really dented up. It's just it's very pure. And since gold and silver are such soft metals, it's very hard to keep them nice. So uh, let's go ahead and get started. Um, go ahead and delete your default cube. Excuse me, and help if I'm on the program. Uh, go ahead and click uh, space, add mesh, and uh, we're just gonna use a uh, a uh, plank for this here. Uh, just a uh, plane. Uh, go ahead and go to three. Delete your cam. Uh, delete your camera. Click space, add mesh, camera. <coughs> <coughs> Rotate. And uh, go ahead and just face it towards it. It doesn't really much matter. Uh, the common mistake is that all metals will always be shiny. And uh, the truth of the matter is they're not. Um, the only time you ever have metal that is shiny is uh, if it's unpolished. In which case it's not very good metal for the most part. Uh, and it is likely going... Uh, Break, snap, whatever. Uh, excuse me, I have a cold. Um, go ahead and uh, just set your rig up like this. Doesn't even be very complicated. Uh, go ahead and uh, just click on your uh, your uh, plane here. And uh, we're pretty much done with that. Uh, for your model, just take something that you already have, such as a shape. Um, the basics of this is actually based off of, uh, is actually based off of my water tutorial. You know what? Give this a little bit more character. Delete this. Add a monkey. Uh, I believe they named her Suzanne. Uh, so this will work well. Three. And, uh, rotate. Size her down a little bit. Uh, but I'm going to be using Suzanne, just so you see what I mean. Um, go ahead and use whatever you want to. Like, if you have some a uh, model that you already built that you're looking to add some metal to, just go ahead and follow along. Um, really, all we're doing is we're texturing it. Uh, it's not about actually building anything. So this tutorial is not going to be teaching you how to build anything. I'm literally just teaching you how to do uh, texture. So uh, I'm going to subsurf that a little bit. Smooth that over, raise this up to the third. All right, so uh, go ahead and go to your textures now. I'm gonna go to zero here, and uh, change this over to shaded view. There we go. That's a little better. All right, uh, go ahead and say add new, and uh, let's make this gold. Um, no, we'll make you gold and silver monkey. I think we have enough time. This is a pretty quick tutorial for gold. You want to move this. Weirdly enough, you want this to be right about an orange color. I'd say right in between orange and gold. Just try and match this up as best as you can. You can look at my numbers here. Here, I'll pause for a second. Um, these uh, numbers right here are probably about good. You see that you have this kind of this faint yellow. Actually, you know what? Go down a little bit. There you go. That's more of what gold would be like. Uh, gold, even yellow gold. Now, white gold is going to be... A lot lower. White gold is going to be very white, almost silver, mind you. Okay, so you just have to think about what are you making. Under ray mirror, say 0 0.1. It's going to give it just a very faint uh, shine to it, not very much. Um, go over to your shaders and uh, say uh, word ISO on uh, precious metals to give them more of a shine look. Use Alright, so if you want it to look real, go to bin, and uh, lower the hard down to about 20, raise the specularity up a bit, and uh, lower this, yeah, raise that up a little more. So it should look like that.
Um, just getting a more realistic view to it. Uh, so, uh, now we add to, uh, texture. Add texture. Go to clouds. And, uh, increase the depth to 6. And, uh, I think we can leave that about where it is. 0.25. And lower it down one. Make that a 0.15. There we go. That's better. Same map to change this. Now go to about the same place where you got that other one and lower it down so it's a wider version of that. So, you know, you're not going to really see it there. Just make it a slightly lighter version of what you already have. Turn that off. Say NOR on there. And, uh... I would do a displacement, you have to be very careful with that. There has to be lots of vertices, there has to be lots of subsurfing involved, just... Displace is a one that you really have to be careful with. Uh, nor is just a simple bump map, which is very good for a lot of things. Uh, under here, go ahead and say, uh... Um... Go ahead and make this one. There you go, one looks good. Now what that's gonna do is it's gonna give it a hammered look. No matter what you're doing, whether you're putting gold in a mold, whether you're putting gold in... Uh, it, uh, on a gavel or a uh, or an anvil or anything, you know, if you're molding gold in any way, you're going to get hammer marks or thumb marks or push marks. It's always going to happen. So here's the basis of your gold here. Under translucency, say 0.5, and uh, it's going to give more machine to it. And under emit, um, it depends. Depends on your lighting. If you're looking for more of a ba uh, black background, I would definitely say 0.25 under emit. Uh, if not, I would leave it alone. So in this case, we're going to leave it alone because uh, we're going to go three space, add and mesh. I'm going to add a plane. Move that down. Size. It's good. Duh. Go ahead and give that a texture. Add new. Let's go over to Rainier. Let's go and lower that just a little bit there. Give it a little bit of a silverish color. Alright, so here's where we're at so far. And if you look here, I have this on shaded mode. So you can see all these dips and crevices where the texture is bump mapping it. Um, what bump map does is it literally treats it inside the renderer like it's a 3D model. Um, but it looks 2D essentially. Is It treats it like 2D and 3D. The light properties are of a 3D image, but the actual image is still a 2D image. Uh, so if you have ref uh, a mirror and the bump map just so happens to be deep enough that something's angled, kind of like this instead of parabola, uh, it's going to reflect directly into it. So, uh, go ahead and go back to your camera view. And, uh, find your light source. Make sure it's in, uh, front of it. G. Put right there. And I'm worried about the background color. Yeah. Let's make this more of a dark color. And, uh, that should be good. Under current frame. Let's see how this looks here. And, uh, this should look pretty much like gold. Um, and like I said, you know, no gold is ever going to be perfectly shiny, I guarantee you. Um, so, uh, what you're going to see here is, if you look at my renderer here, you're going to see what I was talking about, is all these little, uh, bumps and blemishes on here. Uh, they give it more of a real effect. And, uh, this is what you want. Um... So, if you follow along properly, then this should look like real gold right now. Um, now if we want to do silver, go and click escape on that. Um, let's, uh, change the texture a little bit. Let's, it's the same exact thing. You would do this. Um, only we're going to go over here and let's change this to, gr uh, light gray color. Um, now if it is tarnished, or, uh, yeah, tarnished or anything... Go ahead and bring that up here a little bit and give it just a yellowish tint. And it makes all the difference. Alright. Now under map 2, uh, go ahead and give it more of a darker color. But in the same general area, more of a brown kind of color. And, uh, whoops, excuse me. 
Uh, go ahead and go over here and give it like a brown kind of color. And, uh, not quite noticeable enough. Make that real black, okay? Bring that in. It makes it look tarnished. So now if we render this, this is going to look like tarnished silver. Um, which is, once again, what we want. Um, it's not very shiny. Now, silver is easier to polish than gold uh, at a higher carat. So, what we do is, uh, you can see this is very tarnished silver. Silver is never going to be this dull. So, what we can do is we can escape here. Uh, and we're going to add a little bit more mirror to it. Say, uh, 0.25. That's going to give it much more mirror. Once again, be careful with doing this. It can be easy to screw up. And, uh, just go ahead and let that load there. And you're going to see, look right around the eyes here as this is rendering. Um, you're going to see that it reflects off the edges here of the eye. Uh, and, uh, the bump map really helps with that. So, uh, that's pretty much going to be the tutorial. If you, uh, you have any more questions, go ahead and, uh, email me. Go ahead and, uh, 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 go ahead and, uh, contact my, uh, YouTube account, and, uh, so, uh, go ahead and, uh, just play around with the concept, and, uh, if, uh, please send me your feedback also, I could really use some feedback, uh, I enjoy seeing what, uh, all you think of my videos, and helps me improve a lot, so, uh, well, anyway, hope that helped, and, uh, enjoy.